Welcome back, everyone. You may be in a situation where for some reason your iPhone emails are just not showing up. Now, this can happen for a few different reasons. The first thing I'd recommend, as always, is making sure you're logged into your email accounts that you want to see the emails from. So whether you're using the Mail app, Gmail, Outlook, whatever the case is, as long as you have access to an internet connection and you have you that account and you have the accounts logged into, then you should be okay for the most part. So in this specific case, you want to log into the whatever application you're using, and you want to go ahead and start seeing if you can, you know, check out those specific, you know, emails. Now, let's say you're already logged in, and that's the problem. Well, the first thing I'd recommend doing is making sure you're connected to a Wi-Fi connection or a data connection of some sort. So you can make your way over to your settings account, like this, or your settings application. You then want to go ahead and scroll down until you see, you know, your Wi-Fi connection. If you're connected to a Wi-Fi connection, then you're probably good to go. What you can also do is swipe down. You can also go ahead and check, you know, if your cell connection is on. So you can see cellular data right there. You want to make sure that's on as well. And a majority of the time, that will probably diagnose 99% of the problems that people probably end up having. Now, let's say you are connected to Wi-Fi and nothing is working. Well, you can also make your way over to your app store like this. And if things are taking a very long time to load, like this one is for some reason, well, then it may be an outage in your area. If it eventually loads into it, then it's okay. But if there's a Wi-Fi outage or network outage of some sort, well, you're probably going to have to wait until you have access to those emails. But let's say you're using another application outside of the stock mail app. Well, what I would recommend doing there is searching up that specific application. So let's just use Gmail for this example. You can type in Gmail just like this, and all you want to do is update this application. So all you want to do is go and click on, you know, update right here, and you want to update that application. There can be some times where randomly the application may not be working anymore, and you'll have to update it to fix that specific situation as well. Now, let's say that's still not working. Well, another thing I recommend doing is making your way over to your settings, you know, application like this. You want to scroll down until you find the mail application, which is right here. Not that one, the one right before it, this one. And what you want to do is under accounts, you want to go and click on accounts and you want to see if there are any issues with any accounts associated with these. So if you click on your iCloud account, it'll go and take you here. If it tells you to log in or anything, well, you want to go ahead and log in. Now you can see right here, I don't have any other accounts. If you don't see your other accounts associated here either, so if it was a Gmail account or whatever, and you don't see that account here either, well, that is also another issue that you may be running into. So in this case, you'll have to click add new account or add a account, and you'll have to basically, you know, add the account this way, you know, as well. Now, let's say that's still not working. What I would probably recommend you to do is to swipe out out of here completely, and I'd recommend scrolling down into your general settings, click software update, and I'd recommend seeing if there's an update available for your iPhone. I think for a majority of you out there, this is probably the next best thing to do. This is probably the thing I would recommend you doing in this specific situation. So that's pretty much it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button on me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.